Most likely. But, but with Exodus around, won't your life still be in danger? Hmm. Also likely. What you need is a bodyguard, someone to watch your back. Are you offering to stay with me? Uh... Is that possible? If that's what you decide to do, then you should do it. I'll need to create some story to keep you by my side. Really? Thank you. It's the least I can do. You're the reason I'm standing here right now, preparing to fulfill my mission. I'm the one who should be thanking you. Huh? Oh, no, you don't have to do that. We haven't even gotten to the real fight yet. <laughs> Good point. Oh, just the pair I was looking for. Your wyverns have fully recovered. Let's return to the plaza. Okay. Alvin. He hasn't shown up yet. He's probably figuring out his next lie. That's not true. What does everyone else think of Alvin? Would you feel safe going into battle with him? He's just trying to help out his mom, right? I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. I worry he himself will be unable to deal with that way of life much longer. <laughs> Don't forget, Alvin was the one who saved me from the bad guys! What do you think? We'll need to keep up our guard around him until he reveals his hand. He remains trustworthy in battle, at least. No, no, it's not polite to talk about someone behind his back. don't care. What can I say? You guys are my only allies. That makes everyone. Let's be off. Please wait! Rowan, are you really gonna fight with your old buddy? It is my fault that Noctagall became the man he is. I am prepared to fight him when the time comes. You have our support. Don't worry, I'll be right behind you. I've got your back, too! Thank you, everyone. Don't worry, I'll pick up your dentures if you drop them, Grandpa. <laughs> Please do. What, no pithy retort? I guess that means we're all ready. Let's make our final preparations before setting off. Elise, what happened? You're tottering all over the place. I was staring at the windmill, and now the world keeps spinning. You know, it is a mercenary's job to fight. Not that I mind getting paid to twiddle my thumbs. I'm just glad they didn't eat you. Huh. Too bad they didn't eat Alvin the traitor. Oh, did I forget to mention wyverns only eat children? But they don't eat their flesh. 
They nibble away at their souls. So gently that the kids don't even notice. While you were enjoying soaring through the sky, most of your soul could have been chewed away. That's a lie! That's total nonsense! Oh, I was right to be afraid! <laughs> they make it too easy. Has everyone seen Sherrilson's famous windmill? Actually, we haven't had a chance yet. It's well worth your time. The view from the plaza is particularly striking. Thank you for everything. Please return home safely. For my brother. You... Then let's be off. I believe we just need to follow this road to reach Fenmont. Yeah, let's go. And the walking begins. I'm sure you can see why it wouldn't be practical to ride the Wyverns into Fenmont. You'd get spotted right away! Yes. There'd be no avoiding a battle, and civilians would get dragged into it. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. But is it really okay to leave the Wyverns alone like that? They shouldn't have anything to fear from the monsters. Because the monsters are their friends? Oh, no, no. The Wyverns may look docile, but they can be quite tough when they need to be. Monsters aren't their friends. Monsters are their food. Really? I was right to be afraid! 